Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wednesday's Warcraft, where I will be talking about World of Warcraft. I'm going to make an assumption here that most of you already know about how to download and install add-ons to your game of Warcraft to adjust anything of the game and whatnot. But today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. MPQ editing. Now MPQ editing is it change it's a type of way that can change things of the game that simple add-ons cannot change. Now this is not something that's you know violating your term of contract. This just changes the way your character will look it doesn't give you any stats or improvements or any unfair advantages. And it just didn't do simple things like change the way your character looks. You can reskin your character. You can even reskin monsters that you may fight. You can even do stuff like change the loading screens. Now there's various websites that can give you these files, but it's not as simple as you know, putting them in your add-on file. You see, first of all, what you got to do is you got to manually download the file you want. And now do a lot of, you know, do some reading with it. Because it may have a file with it that has a list of MP MPQ file names. They're a string of numbers. And you want to pick one of those from that list and change the file name into that. You'll have a it'll have sound cache and then a five digit string of numbers followed by dot mpq. You want to remember which one that is because if you're adding another download another alteration to the game that comes with you have to change the name to one of those MPQ files, but it's from the same list. You don't want to use the same number you've already used. Because the thing is, the game files itself give you placeholder files. And it's these placeholder files that you will be replacing. Now first you want to pull up your game folder. And once you do that, you want to go to your data file, your data folder. Then you open that and go to cache. Take the folder you've renamed, put it into the World of Warcraft folder, replacing the file you just deleted. I mean the file that's an empty placeholder because you don't want that anymore. It'll automatically do the replacing for you. And the thing is that you want to remember the number of your placeholder of this file. As if you do another one and you use the same number, you're just going to write over what you already had. They give you these placeholder files so that you can actually add these files. You can do stuff like change the way your character looks on your screen. Like maybe the default character selections for your characters aren't what you like. Now, any changes you do to your character will only appear on your screen. Somebody else will not see it. I mean, you can even change the look of your armor. Say you wanted to have your gear to be bright, bright fluorescent orange. Who knows why you would want to do that, but you can. I mean, and there are files that make your character actually look naked. I mean, you know when you take off your gear in the game, your character is in your underwear. But with files like this, you can make yourself look naked when you take your clothes off. But I'm not saying this, you know, to be erotic. It's just an option that you can do to change the way your game looks. Now, you're not violating any contracts, and you're not, you know, 
making somebody else see on their computer something that they don't want to see. So you don't have to worry about, like say you have a risque one that makes you look naked. You're not going to traumatize some 12 year old playing the game. But as always, and oh, another thing I wanted to add, just recently, one of my one of my little program, one of my videos that I downloaded, recently hit a hundred views. I know a hundred views is not that much compared to some of the others, but you know, which is saying, hey, I'm coming there a little bit. I'm I'm working there. I'm not there yet, but I'm working there. I'm averaging somewhere around twenty views a video. If you count all the highs and lows. I'm getting about 20 views. I'd like to see that number increase. But anyway. And as always, have fun and keep gaming.